Hi, my name is Matt from Kinda Classics. Today, I'm going to speak about the mentor from the hero's journey. I see you after these messages. So welcome back. My name is Matt from Kana Classics, as I mentioned before. Today, I want to speak about the hero's journey. Specifically, I want to speak about the assistant or other known as the mentor. Now, the mentor is the individual that you meet after you get your call to adventure. Now, when you receive your call to adventure, as I mentioned my last video, which I'll leave the link either here or up here, um, they are specifically are there the mentor is specifically there to teach you and guide you through your transition through your hero's journey. Now, the mentor doesn't necessarily have to be living. You don't necessarily have to know them or you don't necessarily have to have even met them. They could also be someone really quite close to you. But this person would have been gone through or been through that situation that you are going through and that you can identify with. Now, these ways and other ways of working with your mentor is different and it'd be different for different people. But specifically, the mentor is there to teach you. So now, for example, as I mentioned before, the journey, the hero's journey goes through many different um is keep rolling over and over and over and over it's not just once in your life and then that's it it's not you get enlightened and then that's it you you go through the the journey or you go through the, the hero's journey in order to uh, transcend yourself to a higher state so when a mentor comes along the mentor thought like for example for me one of my biggest ones for me having really a strong passion for um I suppose for civil rights would be Dr. King for spirituality would be the creator or my uh, grandfather who is chief or Gabriel. Um, and in my ancestry as well is about me finding out who I am as an individual. And you're, so you can have a mentor for different things in your different areas of life that you're going through. It doesn't have to necessarily be you got a work situation and then you got a mentor for that. And then that same mentor is going to help you with your love situation. It could be different because that mentor is there. As I said, it's been down that journey, that line before. Now, let's look at, for example, Star Wars. And now you've heard me mention this before. Now, when Luke for, um, had his call to action to um, go and fight with the rebellion against the Empire, um, Obi-Wan stepped in and was the one in order to teach him. Um, so, But in that case, he was pushed because obviously his parents were murdered or his um, guardians were murdered. The other thing is Neo. When Neo got um, his call to adventure, Morpheus was the one who was the mentor to teach him, to show him the ropes, to encourage him to be that level of support in order for him to, to move forward. There were many men, there were many people, many mentors. For example, um, um, George Lucas said one of his mentors was Joseph Campbell who inspired him to do Star Wars. Obviously, this is what um, the Star Wars is about, is, is the journey is built around the hero's journey. So, and many, many different films, as I've said before, are based on hero's journey. <clears throat> but it depends on how you incorporate it into your life and how you're willing to embrace this, this journey. Now, when the mentor appears, the mentor will be the one that you can turn to that would inspire you and again it doesn't have to be just one mentor you may have many mentors for one specific situation so for for me for spirituality i've got about seven mentors that help me in order to really identify my true goal in life and what i want to achieve and where i want to go and so many times I've been in a situation where I may go to just one mentor for a long period of time and then go to another, but they won't be that disgruntled with each other and say, well, you should only stick with me. That's not what they're there about. It's not like how we are on this planet. They know that they are there to help you and they are there to help God's creation, which is you, which is this planet, which is this universe. 
So at the end of the day, don't feel it's about what you get from that mentor in order to um, balance balance out your life. And again, with a mentor, it's like a friend. You always keep in touch with the mentor. The mentor's there to get to know you as well and understand what your strengths and your weaknesses are. <clears throat> I'm not saying the mentor's all knowing because they're not. Um, but they are they are very educated in that specific situation. And again, when we face people who are mentors, we have a tendency to run from our own truth. We we tend to run from what we feel or what we deem to be important in our own life. So we fear change, we fear um anxieties, we fear um growth, we fear um development. Because these things are bringing us out of our comfort zone. But we need, this is what the mentor is there to do, is to help you embrace that specific thing for you to be a better you, as you hear me saying over and over and over again. Now, the mentor specifically would be like, um, you don't, for example, you hear me say, you don't know what you don't know. The mentor knows that. So he's there for you to know what you don't know. So just remember that about your development and how you are going to fluctuate and grow within your own individual self. And again, the mentor is not there to you to go and dump your crap on them. The mentor is there for, for you to have conscious, um, focused ideas and um, debates and um, conversations with in order to become a better you. So if... I, I always say when I when I work with people, so I'm a mentor to probably about two or three people. And um what I what I specifically say when they got when they want, I would only speak to them concerning their spiritual journey. Sometimes it can feel into their relationship, sometimes it can feel into their family life, sometimes it feels into the work life. But specifically this is about them. This is where I would not really actively get involved in their relationship or in their work or in their family, I will keep bringing it back to them about who recognizing them in that situation. What's it doing for you? How, what what is it doing to you? How are you feeling? What what's um what things are going on for you? What's what's making these changes around you? What's what's changing around you? Um are you feeling ill? Are you feeling um a high level of anxiety? Are you feeling that you want to embrace or run away? Are you ready to fight or flight? Fight or flight means fight or flight or run away, take off. So what are these things that, what is going on for you within your inner self while you are going through this um, readjustment um, of your own self? And so many times I've seen some of my clients before and when they when they turn around and, and try to go back to their own self, I can only invite them to stay within that zone of um, expectation and development because if you're going backwards, you're not moving forwards. Sometimes it's okay if you're going forward and you used to look back is to check where you are at specifically in this in your life. But don't keep dwelling on the past. Don't keep dwelling of where you was because you will spend so much time that 60 seconds of um, development and happiness and it's a minute of you focusing on negativity. So just remember that 60 seconds of missing out on development and understanding and also a bliss and a minute of feeling negative and lost. So keep focus and keep driving forward. The mentor is there to give you that empowerment as well. To give you so when you when it's your time to become a mentor for you to help other people, this is when you step up and you become the mentor and you begin to help other people out there who are misguided or need your influence and your understanding. So I hope that's help helped. And um, I'm feeling a bit groggy because I got hay fever, but um, I'm spiritually working on that and I'm going through a detox at the moment as well. So this is all about my journey, my hero's journey or my journey with myself. So um, I hope to, and I hope to see you in the next video and I would love to hear from you. So I'll speak to you soon. You'll stay blessed, stay safe and I'll see you soon and namaste.